My name is Joy, by the way. Starting recording. Of course. Joy! Oh, Joy. <laughs> we had Murph, Joy, Garnett. <clears throat> no, we're started. <laughs> oh, there we are. Now oh, we're no, started. Okay. Okay. It was struggling to connect, so this should be interesting. I better turn off my Wi-Fi. And my tiefling has yes, wings. So we fly. need tieflings named Pain and Panic. Pain and Panic. Pain and Panic. No. <laughs> no, we don't. Um, <laughs> Two feet tall. Give me your passive perception, AC, and your DC for any saves. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody. I don't know how to, to calculate that. Um... Session two, your DC, of Dragon Wars. I'm a pencil or something? Um, right here. Ugh. So you don't ruin the dry erase marker? Yes, um, I don't know why I pulled this out. We are a little scattered today. We have two new people with Hi. this um, background campaign. Uh, <laughs> new characters. New, two new <coughs> characters. So <coughs> there's... Um, Two, three, four, five in all, and it's just going to rotate depending on who's here, who's not. Chances are, Zokaram will always be here. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Um, so, we will get to them in a minute. Uh, announcements We have a blog now, and I try to post stuff every Saturday. Tomorrow, a small post about the Wizard Council will be going up. So, if any of you guys have questions about previous campaigns, characters, NPCs, anything, <coughs> leave them in the comments, and we will write posts and just send them out every Saturday. Right. So that is that. The links are all in the blog, in the blog, <laughs> in the description of the uh, of this video. I'll be putting all of our links in there. So Facebook, the blog, YouTube, Twitter, Twit, not Twitter, <laughs> um, Twitch, TikTok. That's the other one. Um, it's all in the description, so that you can follow us on all of the different. Uh, Different things that we uh, medias. have. Medias. Medias. There we go. <coughs> <clears throat> so that you don't miss out on anything. <clears throat> so we will jump into uh, our session. Last we left off, the uh, the group was sent on a small mission to intercept a raiding party of Githenki and a young red dragon. They quickly got the dragon out of uh, combat, took care of the Githenki pretty quickly, and then the dragon in turn decided to roast the ship, leaving your ship nearly melted. Uh, you did some more shenanigans on the poor dragon, and it decided to leave you guys alone. Then you guys started to limp your way Towards where's my mouse? Mm, you might want to text Jane and see if someone's on the internet upstairs. Yes. We have dropped sixty-four percent of our frames. You guys are heading towards Isolan. <coughs> Isolan. Hmm. How do you determine oh, DC? Okay. Yes, DC. What is your charisma? I'm guessing a five or yeah. four. Christmas is five. Okay. Then I shall just do this. Um, which 17. is. Yeah. Um, I looked at mine and realized mine was. Close to the equator different. above <laughs> these peaks at item. that little point of the uh, jungle. Oh, spell DC 17. Yeah. Um, oh, did you have a. The. Had it, yeah. uh, <laughs> it's all populated that. The <clears throat> continent isn't exactly like this. Back then, there's a lot more forests and jungles, um, and different cities. But you guys made your way near the uh, jungle mountain area, just under Isolin. Um, Zokaram was 
is mending the ship because we found out how threshold damage thresholds work and uh, uh, <laughs> mending works on spell jammers. Spell jammers. <sighs> it's a new thing, new thing, and we're getting used to it. So forgive us of our mistakes. But he has mended it most of the way. You guys are under the city. The ship is in working order, and uh, you are free to either continue mending the ship or go where you will. Um, the ship needs 14 more hit points. Uh, while on the ground, your group has reconvened and is checking them to make sure everybody is okay and uh, not um, um, and out from the uh, the spell jammer helm area a I don't even know what race you are human a human walks <laughs> out would you please describe your character <coughs> A 5'9 human male with scraggly, unruly blonde hair <clears throat> walking out in a gaudy naval coat. Okay. With the giant, with the biggest crap eating grin you've ever seen on his face. Well, now, that was a tough ride, now, wasn't it? Zarkrim, how everything, how's everything going on the ship? Well, it's in one piece for now. I'd say lucky that. You guys gave me quite the hard time in that last fight. Yes. Also, checking around to make sure everybody is in good health is a tiefling. Uh, would you please describe your character? A tiefling. Yes. <laughs> about as far as I got. Just kidding. <laughs> what no. color is it? So it's... It's a red tiefling. Red tiefling. Well, actually, no, they're a black tiefling. Fancy schmancy. <laughs> Summon from ash into ash. I return of it. <clears throat> I've got wings. I can fly. I was about to say Skittle Palette's your oyster here, but... <laughs> black isn't it? I've Skittle got color. haunted eyes. People can see I've been through some stuff. Nice. So, a creepy tiefling, uh, paladin-like person <laughs> is making sure everybody is doing well. Nice. And I have the strong desire to crush my enemies at all costs. Just <laughs> destroy them. Destroy their ancestors and everything. <laughs> Um, you, you definitely feel like you missed out while you were sleeping during the <laughs> fight because um, you guys take shifts rotating to see who uh, um, to keep watch and run the ship and different things like that. And you were, you'd been up all night keeping watch and so you were sleeping during the attack. And we're utterly exhausted. <laughs> Boy, Joy, sleep peacefully, did you? I sure did. I heard there was a fight that I missed out on. Oh, and you left was... Emily alive. Yeah, it's more of a slaughter besides the dragon who decided to turn tail and run. Coward. Right? I was hoping to turn him into a rabbit again. <laughs> a rabbit? What? <laughs> Uh, Rabbits don't fly very well, you see. I'm sorry, Joel. You really had to have been there. I feel like I missed so much. <laughs> and you check these things still. I don't like that. Right. How about how far away are we from the car? Um. So the <clears throat> large flying city is about three, four miles up. Like, it's floating up above the peaks. Um, they're not super tall peaks, but it is a very large city just flying up above the peaks. You can see several arcane towers 
circling it a good couple miles out um, on each side just to make sure they're covering their bases uh, to make sure nothing is able to sneak up on them from the skies. Okay. Nothing can sneak up on them from the skies. Yes. Hmm. I already forgot the uh, bonus. <laughs> <clears throat> Really? Does anyone have like camouflage? Not likely. <coughs> Doesn't sound like it. Nope. Okay. Wait. Do you split this over this? I don't know. You're asking all the wrong people that one. Oh crap, should I have prepared well, he's, spell? He's, he's asking the right people. The problem is he's asking it without telling us what it is, so. There's no context. <laughs> <laughs> I kept putting off preparation, putting it off, putting it off. Till Friday morning, but then we had a hike, and I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> so I was planning stuff all on the hike, but I didn't have any of my books. Okay, so you guys are... Dang it, I did it again. I don't have queso. <laughs> you guys... What are you doing? Are you finishing mending the ship, or are you going to head up to the... Uh, I think <clears throat> it'd be best to head up to uh, the port, and... How are we getting up there? I'm yes. driving. We're, we can fly the ship. You can fly the oh, ship. Fly the ship. Um, it's no longer limping. It's <laughs> it's uh, Just a little sky, melted on the foot. side, but uh, it it's functional. Um, so you guys start heading up towards the city. When uh, actually, I guess we could have uh, Kelly's character be driving. Yeah, you definitely could. So, <coughs> oh yes, I'll pass that off to her. I'm done driving. Uh, Vanilla. Uh, goes over and is driving the ship. You're, uh... War for, uh... Yes. Divine Forge. Divine Forge, um... Cleric. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, fancy, fancy stuff. Is, uh, flying the ship. Is, they don't have to be arcane casters, right? No. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> Still haven't read the book. <laughs> At least I'm pretty sure it's just spell casters. Okay. Anyways, continue. Yes. It's pretty less such and tell otherwise. Otherwise stated. Yeah. <laughs> you guys continue up towards the uh, the city. <sighs> when Pax, your regular war forge, starts kind of twitching. You got you guys know that uh, sometimes he'll uh, twitch a little bit. Before receiving a message from uh, like the general or anybody in command, really, and he opens his mouth, and it's mostly like white noise just coming out. And he starts twitching more. You guys. Both perception checks, actually. This is a good time for this. <coughs> mm. Oof. Natural 20. Nine. Ooh. So 25 You total. can call interference on that one. <laughs> okay. Nearly did it again. <laughs> What'd you get? Nine. Total? Total, yeah. Dang. <laughs> perception? That's what happens when you roll five. Yes, perception. What's your wisdom? For a second, I thought the paladin had me around. Like, what the crap? No, that's not that. 14? Okay. Oh, snap. Do I see it? No, because I just rolled a natural 20. But you see it. <clears throat> so, you look around. Um, the first thing that uh, you notice, looking down in the outskirts of the jungle just underneath the city you see dragons just huddled in the swampy areas trying to stay hidden but with your elven eyes you quickly pick them out <clears throat> as green dragons uh, you know them to be very sly and 
ancient creatures. Why they are there, you don't know. Um, as you look up and around, you see something coming into the atmosphere. It starts off as a ball of like flame, and then you feel this large ripple. You've seen ships go in and out of the atmosphere for, I don't even know how long you've been alive. Um, a long time. <laughs> This one is different. It just appeared in the atmosphere. It looks like a large rock in the distance as it starts coming toward um, the city. <clears throat> you can't make out much other than that. It is a large floating rock slowly making its way um, just inland. <clears throat> There's dragons below us. Um, just I'll uh, point them out or in the general direction of them. Keep an eye on that area. I don't want them sneaking up on us. You got it, Chief. And whatever that rock is. <laughs> Um, you guys look back over at uh, Pax, and his eyes are really wigging out, especially after it entered the atmosphere. He starts to, like, almost get woozy. If Pax. A, huh? Pax is the warlord's name. <laughs> Get him on the you guys a have <laughs> interesting names. There's gotta be a reboot around here. <laughs> um, he tries holding himself up, and you hear... Um, General Cloud's voice come through. I do not know what that is. Whatever it is, do not let it near the city. Oh, I that. Do not engage until we know <coughs> more about it. Um, you guys know uh, General Cloud. He is a half-giant. Not just a goliath, like a literal half giant. Hagrid. Pretty much, but really big. <laughs> half of his body has been disintegrated by dragon flame and has been rebuilt as a s mechanical body. Mm. And so he is a half cyborg. Well, he is a cyborg half giant. He is huge and very intense. Um, he's got very blue skin as a descendant of a cloud giant. Interesting. That is where he gets his name, <coughs> General Cloud. Oh, not a cat. <laughs> not a cat. <laughs> you wish. Cloudy is not here yet. <laughs> he won't be born for thousands of years. A millennia. Yes. A thousand, seven, six hundred and some odd. But yes. That is the situation. How do you guys approach this? You want me to fly up there and get a closer look at the thing? Mm, no. I'd rather be within the range of the city again. <laughs> <clears throat> so are you going to the, the city or the arcane tower? Uh... In between the city and the asteroid is where I'd like okay. to place the ship. <clears throat> so, you guys, uh, you give your commands to uh, Benilia, and she quickly raises the ship up above the, uh, the city, where you can see several other um, Stark skiffs also leaving the city. You know as other mercenaries that have been... Uh, gifted these ships in as a payment to protect the city from dragons pretty much this um, you see the asteroid slowly getting closer and you can see that it is vaguely in the shape of a very ugly star <clears throat> it was not a 
fight. Just expecting this fight. <laughs> oh. <coughs> now look here, boss. I can handle dragons, but most of my repertoire isn't really isn't really built for dealing with a giant rock. Yeah. Um. Mine either. Uh, I would like to have our ship. I'll tell Vanilla to guide our ship closer to another one of the mercenary ships, just so that I can shout over and let them know that I no notice green dragons down below. Okay. Just so that we're not the only ones that know, so it's not coming as a surprise. Okay. So, you <clears throat> quickly move your ship closer to uh, another one of the star skiffs. You see this one has a large ballista on the front of it. Um, because you are free to add and upgrade your ships as you see fit and have money to do so. Um, <coughs> we don't. We're poor. <laughs> uh, how it, it works is you are gifted this ship um, and you work for them until you have pretty much paid it off and then they will start paying you after that. We're on a ship rental. Pretty much. Uh, and so like whatever you like br uh, break <laughs> whatever you guys um, like intervene with you guys can loot it and get that money. And you can buy upgrades and whatever you'd like. But you pull over to them and you see um, a good half dozen people on there uh, getting ready with... Uh, there are several, like, GIF. Not GIF. GIF. Mm -hmm. uh, hippopotam. Anthropomorphic hippopotami. <laughs> um, you can see they've got large... Um, Muskets. I was like, what is the word? It's not black powder rifle. It's a musket. No, um, several muskets. And uh, one of them looks over at you. Hey, spread out. We don't know what this thing is. Just wanted to make sure you guys knew I spotted dragons before coming above the city. They don't want any surprises coming our way. <coughs> he like, looks over. Dragons. Why is it always drag? I never mind that. And then I'll have Vanilla bring us away from them because I agree. <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, you see him go over into the small little like shack thing that is your helm, uh, where it keeps the uh, the driver safe from any attacks because the last thing you want is your driver to go down in the middle of a fight. So you've got this little protection; they have full cover while driving. But you see him go in there and he comes out. Thanks for the warning. We sent a message to General Cloud. You see uh, several ships start to sink below the city. Uh, one larger ship with cannons on both sides. Good. I would like, I'd rather them deal with the dragon. <laughs> Um, it doesn't look like they're going straight for the dragons. They're just kind of waiting um, just beneath the city to make sure that uh, nothing sneaks up on them. Good. Um, you see the asteroid-like thing start moving closer and closer. And you watch as the arcane tower, a good mile in front of you, start to charge. Picture like Sauron's eye. eye. Just start to charge on top of this huge tower. You guys wait for it. You guys have watched this many times. It takes an entire minute for this thing to fully charge. And as soon as the asteroid comes into uh, proximity, and you know it can shoot a mile. Let me pull these notes up. <clears throat> you see the beam. <clears throat> just red arcane energy with lightning just crackling through it. You see it hit and then disperse. It almost looks like it barely even touched the ship. You see it start charging up again 
Roll perception checks. As you watch this happen. Much better. Much better. <laughs> oh, my. 21. 21. Holy crap. Wait. 23. Dang. 10. 10. <laughs> okay. So, um. I'm still sleeping. <laughs> a little you're still a little woozy, but, um. What's going you're, on? <laughs> you're caught up in this beam of energy. You two notice that on this star shaped asteroid, four of the tips have the same glowing energy charging up on it. Uh, I think it absorbed the energy and is firing it back at them. You watch as the <laughs> tower is about to um, release another shot when four beams come flying at it. Magnified it. <laughs> The entire tower just starts to go down, just slowly sinking towards um, the coastline. Um, you can you hear um, hacks on the ground. Dead, dead, take it out. <clears throat> Corlin, have mercy on us. Right, Captain orders. Lean over. So you think we could come and do that? <laughs> I am willing to try. Right. Vanilla, bring us up there. <laughs> you watch as... <laughs> bring us in. The gift are like, you heard the orders? Let's go. And like several skiffs start going and you see a good dozen other skiffs just turn around wow. and start going down. <clears throat> <laughs> At least we have the gif. <laughs> um, At least we have the hippos. I'm going to need your uh, your space book for the GIF. This one or the mountain manual, monster this manual? This has GIF in it, doesn't it? it? Has no. I think the GIF are in the manual. <coughs> monster manual. Oh yeah, the space monster manual. That's what I meant. Menagerie. Yes. Menagerie. The menagerie one. Okay. So, I mean, I could show you the gift ships in here. They only have a skiff. Oh, do they? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <sighs> you know, I am brilliant. I. It's in the, it's in the monster. It's in alphabetical ma order. <laughs> 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 I start in the back, like, gif, gif, gif. It's okay. been a long day. It has been a long, long day. As you can see, I am probably sunburned. Um, Can't yes. really see it on camera, but I can see it. Yes. Um, you watch as the tower just crashes into the ocean. <laughs> it is a ways out there. It just slowly made its way all the way out there. Okay, so you guys and two other ships. You see, and the other one is, um, it looks like just thugs just beaming at the opportunity to go attack something i i will specifically tell vanilla to arrive after that ship yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let the thugs be thugs i guess you watch as the ship on those four corners it starts to charge again and then just dies yeah. maybe it only has enough energy after one shot Let's not hit the ship. <laughs> recharge time, maybe? No. We saw it recharge the one time, and I, I find it. I think source. it needs to be hit by an attack before it can attack. So, you guys get closer to it. How far, how close would you like to get to it? Uh, depends on how close the other ships are getting. Um, they are going full bore straight at it. Perfect. Uh, we'll do the same thing. Like at a distance. Yes, a little <laughs> bit slower. We're cowards. <clears throat> We're gonna pretend that our ship is slower than their ships, even though they're probably the exact same ship. Just <laughs> don't let me know that. Because... Hey, we have some metal damage that we can we can put that on. Right. Um. Okay. <clears throat> I just want the thugs to arrive first. <laughs> Let's and, figure out what's going and on. And the gift. Here. Okay. I don't want to go in there blind and be the first ones to die. Die. 
be. The okay. second one's to die. <clears throat> and I mean, if they leave I their ships empty, we'll no. take them back. So <laughs> actually, what we're going to say is take that much damage. Okay, so roll initiative. I will grab some... Uh, don't this fail. dice has been nice to me so far. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yes! These are definitely his dice. Props. Was that your original set? This is. This is the closest I have to it. So it's like, you know what? It's fitting Zokar's aesthetic. I really can't. But a little bit in re- its <laughs> flopped colors. Ah. So it's just like, maybe I'll just. Uh, maybe this will be yeah, better. I don't have. <laughs> Because I was rolling, I wasn't rolling as good with uh, Zokar. So this will represent it. Okay, uh, two, one. Since it's a big rock. Oh, camera. We have a very big rock. Um, your ship is. Trying to remember how long I said it was. Hundred feet. Thirty feet. Oh, dumb. Um. Okay. So your ship is thirty feet. You see that from tip to tip and from bottom to top, it's about a hundred feet. Like this is a huge asteroid. So you guys are going to need something a little bit smaller than that. What did we use last time? We can just make each we square. We drew on the feet. board. Oh wait, <laughs> Kelly was kind enough to make us ships. Oh, that's right, she did. Yeah, one of the little ones should be perfect. It's a little big, but uh, good enough. Not it. Well, yeah, yeah. Get the just yeah. Grab one of all the. Thank you, Kelly. Ones. You're very appreciated. Okay, so <coughs> why not? Like to do a shot. There's our skiffs. <laughs> Those are the skiffs. Um, where's one of your guys' pieces? You can just put it in one of them. Do we fit? No. Close enough. <laughs> that will be you guys. So perfect. This is what we want to have happen. Okay, they don't get that close. <laughs> <Dang> <laughs> <it>. <laughs> so we'll say each of these is 15 feet. Do you want to say it's 25? Because then that's actually 100. Okay. We'll say 25. Suspend a little belief here and hope yes. it's good. Okay. Okay, what you guys get for initiative? Let me actually change the music while I'm thinking about it. Probably wise. I got a 12. You got a 12? Yeah. Modded 20. 21? Nope, not 21. Sorry. 20. No, 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 20. Okay, what do you have? 17, sorry. 20, I, that's also I'm modded. Struggling. 20. 17. He goes before me, he has a higher dex. No, 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 I, I got a straight 17. That, dude, not straight 17. That's, mod, that's with my. No. What? 19, what sorry, I am struggling with math. 19. Final oh. answer. <laughs> I'm a little 19. worried. I've never seen you struggle with math before. Okay. <clears throat> um, uh, I usually don't. Exactly why I'm concerned. <laughs> these will be the uh, gif. And these will be the ruffians. What did he get? 12? Mm-hmm. Ruffians. Thugs. And they will have a, a whopping number. You know what? I'm going to use a different thing for them. Do you want to use this thing? It's got gem on this it. Gems are rocks. And, uh, gem? That one right there. They will be the gem. I mean, they're a big rock. It counts. Yes. Okay. Now, this is the order. This is the way. <laughs> this is the way. Okay, okay, 20 minutes. Don't hit okay, the ship. There we go. <laughs> I was like, I'd rather not the ship have the ship throwing fireballs back at us. Okay, there we go. Now we got some music. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Oh, sore legs. That brings it to uh, you. And right. Alexander. I am going to twin spell haste on Joy and Zokrin. Oh boy. 
Oh, great. Okay, make a note. Can I have my pencil? You want to make... wait until we're a little bit closer for that? Oh, so right. So they don't wear out? Forget haste has a very low... It only thing. lasts one minute, and we're a little ways away. <laughs> haste marker, and what was the other marker I needed? Fear. Fear. Yeah, you're gonna need fear. So, hold on. I have hold, aura he's gonna hold fear. off on haste, because right. it only lasts one minute. And I'd yeah. rather not arrive right as it ends. <laughs> I will hold action. We're so fast, we're so fast, we're so screwed. No hold action. I'll hold action for haste until something happens. I got nothing else I can do. I don't have okay. a lot of long range crap. Um. Your ship can fly at 70 feet. How Kay. far away are we? So that'll take us uh, three rounds to get there. Roughly. 24 Roughly. seconds. Okay, so that is your turn. You're holding haste. Um, Zokaron. Um, well, how far are we? 100, 200. Hmm, I don't think I have any range that far. Uh, so I'll just be patiently waiting. <laughs> we got, okay. we got, we're a bit far off. We got nothing. <laughs> I'll be impatiently waiting. <laughs> okay, so that brings it to them. They move 70 feet. So that's 25, 50, and basically just. We'll just say 75 for the sake of sake of for the squares. sake of for the sake of fluidity. Yes. Um. Uh, you see them pull out crossbows and bows, and they just start. Choo, 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 choo. No, no, no! You idiots! Please. Uh, they're not even gonna make it to the ship. <laughs> um. Oh, I guess we should have moved our ship as well. Oh, yeah, you can move your ship. 25, 75. Perfect. What right is it? That's where we're going to be. AC, wow, they actually hit it. Hmm. I don't think they're going to actually do They anything. hit it once. <laughs> oh, twice. Okay, so they deal seven damage to it. Nice, nice. Oh, wait. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Threshold. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say, like, wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, wow, that was effective. And I was like, oh, wait, damage threshold, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> they did nothing. They, they're like, T -t -t -t, and you see it just, like, bounce off the rock. And they're just like, T -t -t -t. Oh. Captain, what are your orders? <laughs> this isn't working. <laughs> I'd say not. <laughs> you see they, they start to turn just a little bit. Uh, deciding that cannon. Might not be the best idea. They don't have a cannon. Oh, good. It's just <laughs> them and their spell jammer. We don't want to die. Um, they have what we have. Yes. Except for less magic. So. They probably have one spell jammer. <laughs> this turns to look at them. You can see from this angle that the star is kind of curved like this. Hmm. More of a claw. It, it's kind of like a claw. I... My so, fingers aren't evenly spaced. So are we looking yeah. at the concave or the complex side? Oh, uh, the concave. Um, More like guns than jets. It is a solid surface of just stone. Craggy, asteroid-like stone. Um, it seems smooth, almost like it had been kind of melted as it entered the atmosphere. Um, kind of like, like a heated rock. Have you seen a heated rock? Superheated rock, it gets like kind of smooth, but it's very craggy and bumpy still. Um, at each tip, you can see almost like a transparent glass. Uh, very like big window-like thing. And out of them, out of the four side ones, is some like purple-like beams come flying out at their, um, their skiff, their star skiff. So, that is four beans. Wow, I rolled two sixes in a row. What's its AC? I don't remember. You, okay, so you guys' skiff. We have the book, don't we? 
in, this in, is in, in his ah. teammate demo. Yes, yes, I made the skip up. Oh, yeah, I should probably write this down just so that so, I have it. So, your AC is 19. AC 19. I really like that number. The hit points are 70. Damage threshold is 15. 70, but we're missing 14 of it? Yes. <coughs> okay. And then your flying speed is 70. So, those two shots miss. Okay, one shot gets off. <laughs> so it hits it, and the whole ship kind of rocks, but it doesn't do any damage. It just gave him a little wild ride. Just some turbulence. <clears throat> Nothing new. Yeah, pretty much. Not like getting hit by a freaking dragon. <laughs> right. <laughs> um. Speaking of which, I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Never mind, your guys' past perceptions aren't high enough. Vanilla would have been the only one seeing it. Everyone, forget I said anything. Oh, great. Could she communicate to Can I do a past She's through? completely. Box. She can only in. she can only see what's on our ship. Yes. Mm. Due to the spell jammer's nature. Yes, that's why you have somebody commanding where to go because she is completely boxed in to protect her. Ah. Uh. Um, okay. Yes, the spell jammer allows her to see everywhere on the ship, though, so we can talk to her even though she's boxed off. Uh, boxed off. Yeah. So it's like she, we have a little personal camera following us around. Uh, yes. I mean, she's not omnipotent. Omniscient? Om, um, omniscient, but... Okay, that brings can, it to... She's pick, aware. She can um, pick and choose where she wants turn. to look. <laughs> My turn? We're still far back. Yes. yes, we're just going to say that <coughs> your uh, Vanilla is at the start. Vanilla is better than all of us and has a very high initiative role. Um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> There's, I can't do anything. I mean, how far are you? One, two, or three, four, about like 125. 125. 125. Well, I think that's just barely outside of Eldritch Blast it's without 120 for Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Dang it! So I could run and jump forward and do it. Yeah, a don't don't do that. <laughs> but I have fly. He can fly. He can, I can fly, fly it. Because I am a tiefling with wings. There, there's winged tieflings. It's a variant. Weird. Weird. And I have the mobile feet, so. I can fly at 40 feet per... Um, you definitely can. But there's really no point in me doing an Eldritch Blast one. It'll probably blast back at me. Yeah. Yeah. Not so really. I'm just going to hold action. Okay. And I'm going to observe while I'm muttering under my breath. You're doing what? Muttering under my breath. <laughs> oh. I will spend my action to talk. Okay. <laughs> you <laughs> cuss an infernal. Okay, that brings it to... Gif. The gif. What a gift they They're, are. I'm going to paladin. Paladin don't so cuss. They're going to move right here. We just speak. Yes, they're going to get fairly close. And... Um, their range sucks, just so you know. What is their range? Like 30 feet. 40? Yeah. That should still be within range. Yeah, they're fine. I mean, if they're on the front it, of yeah. the ship. Yeah. So, they're going to make... Must must attack. Attack. Those uh, both miss. Those both miss. This isn't looking good. Natural 20 and a Woo. 19, so those both hit. The, was the gif sh gif. Was the gif ship the one with the giant ballistae? No. Yes. Oh, yes. Hooray! Are they shooting it at it? <laughs> um, so, three attacks hit, one is a natural 20. And then one of the uh, GIF is going to shoot the ballista. 15 does not hit. Um, you watch it just 
And as it turned to uh, shoot the other guys, it barely glances off of it. But let's see what damage they can do. The um, crit. So with the uh, um, damage threshold, is it per attack or like the round? Attack. Per attack. Per Each attack, attack has to hit at okay. least that, that level or that's higher. That's what I was damage. thinking. There is there's a reason I'm uh, not too keen on trying to attack the ship itself. Right. Damage thresholds aren't easy without burning high level spells. Yeah, I'm uh, starting to realize that. Not even gonna roll for those other two attacks because they, they can't. They can't. No. They're the crit's gonna have to be max damage. <laughs> Pretty darn close. That is 22 damage. Nice. So. What a sniper. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see the, the captain guy that you guys had talked to. He's just like. Hits it. And he's like. Didn't do any damage. Right at the glass. You see it kind of shatter a little bit. And kind of absorb into the glass. Oh, no. Um, where did I put the marker? Oh, there it is. I don't know why I can't see behind the screen now. I know. <laughs> um, what did I say? 22? Yes. That would be a really funny place for a camera. <laughs> <coughs> behind the DM screen. What is this chaos I'm watching? <laughs> oh, right. Okay, so. It'd be really boring behind my screen. <laughs> Right. It's like scrolling on my phone. <laughs> that so, looks like a cool monster. You see it hit and make really good contact, but it didn't do as much damage as you think it should have. And it's like, ha, ha, ha. take that, alien scum. Oh, wait. He loads it. <laughs> with his finger. <laughs> yes, with his fast finger. <laughs> <like, laughs> I was looking at it, I was like, there is... No, no cocker. Uh, not cocker. Uh, <laughs> You're the gun dude. Wow. Uh, what's it called? Don't pump. Answer. Yes, no pump. There's no pump on it. <laughs> well, pump's usually this way. Uh, no, it's pump. That's lever. That's lever. That's lever. Lever. Okay. It doesn't have either of those. <laughs> um, None of them. It has a ramrod. Right, exactly. Oh, we don't have revolver muskets yet? <laughs> don't actually do that. They were a terrible idea. <laughs> no, I think they do have them, but... Uh, yes, they are a terrible idea. They're, they're, their range is like five feet. <laughs> <coughs> but they're very deadly at five feet. <laughs> Everything beyond that is just hopeless. <laughs> Too bad that uh, it's a ranged attack at five feet, so it's a disadvantage. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is not canon. <laughs> If it did make a shotgun in Funny. D&D, though, would it still have that disadvantage at close range? Um, I wouldn't give it disadvantage at close range, because it would have disadvantage at everything beyond five feet. <clears throat> I would honestly do a shotgun as a dick save. <clears throat> no, 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 than... not, a, not a shotgun. The, uh... Revolver? The flintlock pistols. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is the gift turn. That brings it back to... Alexander, I almost called you Andrew. But yes, I agree with the shotgun being a deck save. Right. <clears throat> it's just a spray and pray at that point. But when you come, yeah, it's just when you're close. Right, up, Captain, are you gonna hit? I can, re I can hit it from here. Do you want me to try something? You guys can move the ship if you want. Yeah, let's move the ship. Uh, I think that's was how much we needed to move. Right there, yeah. Uh... If you'd like to, though I'm pretty sure if we anger it, it'll aim at us. Right. Let's work on you two then, shall we? Now I'll cast my wonderful haste. Okay, so concentration for you. I actually have just the thing. It's not haste, but it will work <laughs> on you. You. you both now have an extra two to your AC advantage on dexterity and an extra action every turn. An extra two to my AC? Yep. Yes. So whatever your AC is now, add two to it, and that's and your, your AC. And your movement speed is doubled. And your movement speed is doubled. 23 and 80. Yep. Dang. Ouch. Okay. 
Okay. He comes over to you, casts the spell, and you guys get a surge of adrenaline. <clears throat> okay. Is that your turn? Everything you can do? Pretty Just much? about, yeah. Okay. Um, My turn. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a lot of bonus action options here. I mean, oh, you were holding that as an action, weren't you? Yeah, I guess. So, you could have let that go before you guys even moved. Ah, well, so, opportunity lost. Yeah. Oh. Uh, wild Magic Surge is completely controlled by you. So, if any time I cast a spell, you want me to roll on the ma- Wild Magic table, or you don't want me to, that's completely up to you. I have no I choice I thought it was with uh, Sorcery Points. <clears throat> oh, it is? You After you, you sorcery. cast a Sorcery spell at first level or higher, the DM can have you roll a d20 immediately after. Go for it, why not? Ow. This is what sorcerers are for. Well, wild, wild magic, magic search, 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 search. And no surge. <clears throat> okay. But I can start getting a ton of surges if you all do crap and fail. <laughs> if we fail. Okay. If so, you fail, I will win. So don't worry about it. That brings you to uh, Zokaram. Can I see anything in the ship? Uh, make a perception check. <clears throat> uh, 21. Oh, dang. I've rolled a lot of 16s tonight. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you can't see very well. The glass is extremely blurry. Um, but you see... How big are these creatures? Oop, that one is... Okay, they are large. Couldn't work on them, they're more large. Um, you see these large... Almost like heads, just floating inside of the like glass-like area. Um, with that high of a perception, you can see that large muskets are starting to apparate and push through the glass. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to target one with psychic lance. Psychic. Lance? Lance. Oh, ah, Lance. roll with them Psychic Lance. I love that spell. Okay. Make an intelligence saving throw. Let me find his stat. <clears throat> it's one of my new favorite spells. With, right. With Ronadin. <laughs> you sound disappointed. <laughs> I mean... Well, I, I couldn't know which one uh, does something. Okay. So, intelligence, you said? Yep. You're a jerk. <laughs> Fine. Uh, <laughs> prepare to die. <laughs> Not really, but it'll still be fun to roll this much die. Let me see. Do you need more? Oh, no, no, you have no. all the d6s you need. <laughs> Never mind. Mm, let's see, that's four. Yep, yeah, six. Seven. Dang it. It already used its reaction. <clears throat> Uh, 20... I need to draw me a star. 29. And that particular one is incapacitated until the start of my next turn. Are you doing right, left, or right, left, bottom, foot? Uh, I don't know. What's the closest one to us? (laughs) Probably the Probably left hand the bottom. Foot. Left to like bottom. Your right. It's left. Our right. Yes, my right. This one. Oh uh, no no facing. this one this one this one yes. Okay. It's I left. Top right. or leg. Uh, bottom. Bottom. Okay. You did twenty nine. Twenty nine and it's incapacitated until the start of my next turn. No, it can't move. Can't Do act. Crap? Oh no, it can move. Oh, it can't. can't act. No actions. <laughs> awesome. Or reactions. Okay, you see the psychic lance just, and it's like <clears throat> just sitting there. Um, you get a better look at it as the energy connects with it. Um, it's almost skeletal mixed with like a lizard-like creature. Like it's floating, but it has a small body hanging underneath its gigantic head. Um, with a little tail just dangling. Uh, and then I'm going to cast Toll of the Dead on it. 
because Does is a bonus action? No, but I have haste. Oh yeah, you have haste. <laughs> and told the day. So make wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Some and damage. I just dealt damage to it, so uh, <laughs> it um, fails. Yeah, that's a six. Perfect. Two d twelve then. Okay. I like that. 18 damage. Okay. <laughs> 18. <clears throat> okay, so you feel the spell connect, but it doesn't take as much effect on it. You get the sense that it is resistant to necrotic damage. Of course it is. It would growl at you, but you couldn't hear it. <coughs> Can't do anything. Okay, that is your turn. That brings it to... Thugs. The thugs' turn. And, uh... <laughs> they're gonna hightail it out of here. Because, uh, they can't do anything. They can't <coughs> handle this thing. Did we just get you can You can hear the robot on their ship. What are you doing? We are commanded to attack! We can't touch it! You I can. just yell after him, Your parents were hamsters! <laughs> you see another arrow, we're like, <laughs> harmlessly off of it. Um, okay, that, that's our turn. <laughs> I wish um, I had vicious marker. Okay, it is now its turn. And it is going to take a at, lot of shots. At the gif? <laughs> at the gif. Um, two shots towards them from the <coughs> right side. Um, it's going to hit one guy. That's going to hit another guy. Dealing... You see, uh, two shots, just <laughs> two guys get hit on their ship. One of them is, like, badly injured, his shoulder nearly blown <coughs> off by this thing. And then the GIF are going to take, since you disabled one of them. Hey, you're welcome. It's only going to get six shots. <coughs> Natural 20. Ow. Without, the, right without the long rest, that's about all I can do right now. I may have, should maybe I should have gotten a few more actual combat spells. Okay. Uh, oh, they've only got a 12. They, they, I'm pretty sure the tops of the star is going to be the pilot seat. If we actually take that one out first, which is what I should have done, the wow. ship is going to go down. Well, perfect, because I do have Psychic Lance. <laughs> Good. Okay, so that is the natural 20 for t 12. Wow, they've got quite a bit of HP. <laughs> Not no more. <laughs> um, <laughs> 24. 3. 5. Okay, so... <laughs> Um, the gift captain just gets hammered with four shots, just, 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 just one right in the gut, and it bends him over. <clears throat> Could I see any of the creatures making these attacks? Um, roll a perception check. That is a 17. 17? No. Okay. You can see small, like, well, they're not small. They're pretty big muskets protruding out of, like, the glass. It's almost like it, uh, what you do see is that the glass kind of molds into this musket barrel as it shoots. You could say it's a glass cannon. Yeah, it's a glass cannon. You're hilarious. <coughs> but it looks almost identical to the musket that the gift captain was using. Okay. Okay, so that's their turn. That is good to know. 
you see it start to just turn and follow these guys. And they are panicking. Okay. Okay, that is... Right. Your turn. My turn? Yep. Right, Joy, light them up for me, would you? Light them up. Okay, I'm going to use... Eldritch Blast. Okay. Mm, it's not going to do much, but sure. It's better yeah. than nothing. Roll an attack. Roll four attacks to be exact. Four. If you cast it twice. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you could cast it twice. Alright, I'm going to cast it twice. Do I see any any creatures? Um, even if you did see them, they're behind full cover. Behind. The reason mine worked is because it doesn't uh, involve cover. I just attack directly at their minds. Yeah. Oh. I uh, saw a hole in Alan's plan. He gave me glass. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> they have to see as well. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Should have a plus, plus nine. nine, yeah. So, so a, a modded, 20, a modded and an 20 and an 18. They both hit. Where are you aiming? <laughs> uh, I'm going to actually yell out, "Attack for the tops, top of the star." Okay, so I'm aiming for the top of the star. Okay. Roll well, your other two attacks. Yeah, okay, forty ten. I mean, it's got a good AC, but <laughs> you drilled those. Do you want forty ten? Yeah. yeah. Try to just do that. Right? Yeah, you can do that. <coughs> Remember, zero is zero, so don't roll that. <laughs> that is zero, zero is ten. ten. <laughs> so you got a one, one. A, so that's five. Twelve. Yeah. 12 <clears throat> damage. Plus, do you have Agonizing Blast? Agonizing Blast, yes. Okay, so, so plus that is 20. plus 20. Plus 20. But, each of those has to be counted separately for the, uh... None of them are above its threshold. Yeah. <clears throat> so, it's like... And you see it kind of just, like, ripple. Okay. I also have, um, when I attack and hit with all the blast, I have the ability to push it back 10 feet. Um, I think that's a creature. That's a creature. That's this a creature. Is, this is not considered a creature. I'm going to check. I think I have warlocks right here. It'd be a good thing to check, but I'm pretty sure it's just a creature. I mean, even if you push it back 10 feet, it's not going to do much. And I'd rather you not push it back. <laughs> <laughs> I have a good plan for this. When you hit a creature with Eldritch Blast. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah. These are not creatures. This is not a creature. That's okay. It would be nice, though, if a candle could push a giant <laughs> ship 10 right. feet away from you. <laughs> well, Every dragons day. are creatures, right? Yes. It's yeah, they are. work on dragons. It's just it's a big boat. <laughs> okay. So, that is your turn. Good attempt. Gif. Gif's turn. <laughs> you see the, the captain just like... Oh... Ah, uh, you will not get away with that! He's gonna take his two shots. Three of his crew members are going to, uh... Load the, uh... Ballista. Ballista. Hits with one of them. Oh yeah, I don't even know why I'm rolling. I can't... <laughs> can't hit the threshold. It's like, dunk. Now, nah, Ballista. Goes off. Oh, misses again. Just glances off of it. <coughs> okay. That is their turn. Yes. Okay. It is now his turn. Your turn. So we can move the ship. Yes, you can move the ship. <coughs> I'm thinking we go above it. Okay. Okay. You have the uh, distance markers over there. No, I want. I want to be like here. Oh, right above it. He wants to be on top of it. Just that. land. That okay. is where I want Grab to be. Grab that one, then. That rock. Nope, the rock. Yep. Perfect, yes. This is where I want to be. Right there. 
Hey, why don't we use this to mark our ship instead? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. I was going to say we'd use this chair. Then. <laughs> I was going to say, we could just put a chair in there. <laughs> That's the spell jammer. <laughs> this is the spell jammer. We have it. Okay. So, you are going all the way above it. Yes. Above the top of the star. Yep. On the way okay. up, can I see inside the glass window on the top of it? Uh, make it well, you'd have to wait until... Oh, wait. It is your turn. It is my turn. It's his turn. Okay. Um, if you want to use your action to, like, proceed in there... I don't have enough action economy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I actually do. I want to look. Okay. Go for it. And I'm going to use Tides of Chaos <clears throat> to give me advantage on one attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. Ooh, nice. And that is 23. 23. <laughs> okay, so you look into this top one. Um, it doesn't have the musket coming out of it, so you have a pretty clear view through this super thick, um, foggy glass. Inside there, you can see this lizard-like creature um very thin and like bony <coughs> with a <coughs> absolutely horrifying head it has one huge eye in the center and then just a very um the skin on its face and jaw is very oh, very I that, tight i think i still have that picture i'm gonna show it to the uh Okay. Yes. I am. He has a photo of what the head looks like. Ugh. So there it is. Hello. It doesn't have the wings. Oh, uh, you can't really see it. Uh... All right. I'm going to cast Rolithum Psychic Glance as a quicken spell. No, that didn't help. Psychic Glance? Okay. Yep. Make a intelligent saving throw. <laughs> Make an intelligent saving throw. There we go. Now you guys can see what the seventeen is the number to beat. Like. Intelligent saving throw. Yep. I'm going to actually use this dice for. <laughs> what number? Seventeen. Seventeen. I'm going to cast Ben Luck. As a reaction, I can spend two sorcery points and roll a D4 to give it a penalty. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you roll; it fails. <laughs> Holy cow. I'm burning through spell sorcery points. Yeah, yeah, you are. But, but. And do you want me to roll on the magic? And do you want me to roll on the magic yes. search table? Yep. Tides of Chaos means you just make me throw on it. But I get it back afterwards. What do we get? 95. You and all creatures within 30 feet of you gain vulnerability to piercing damage for the next minute. What do these cannons do? <laughs> Here, so here's 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 but <laughs> this is bad. he is now incapacitated and cannot turn the ship. <laughs> True. We are honest. Which is exactly what I wanted. Okay. Roll your damage. Right. Would you like some more d6s? I would love some more d6s, please. There's four. How many do you need? Uh, how much do I? Seven. I need six. seven, so I need two more. Perfect. <clears throat> Swords are fun. Yeah, you just... I am also going to use Empowered Spell. So I can re-roll up to four dice. Okay, let's see what we got here. <laughs> In one round, he has burned through one, two, three, four... So that's one, two... I think I can do better. Three, fourth dice. <laughs> Lost <laughs> one point. So that's 16... 25, 32 damage. 32 damage? Yep. Okay. So, you send the lance straight through this glance, and it strikes him in the head. And you... It freezes him up, but you get the sense that it didn't do as much damage as you would like. You hear in your head, mostly gibberish, but you get the feeling of frustration. <sighs> They're resistant to psychic damage. Fudge. Ah, uh, not quite. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> that is your turn. Is this worse than I thought? Yes. <laughs> Russell has no idea what these things are. I have a very good idea what these things are. <laughs> you know what the baby is. Um. Oh, do you want me to roll d20 for wild magic search? Oh, yes. We could get a second search this turn. Nope. Okay. Wait, which of you hate me more? That brings it to... Oh, yes. My turn. Zoka wrong. That lance is in concentration, right? No, it no, is not. Okay. It yeah. just lasts until... Yes, the end of your next turn. The beginning of your next turn. Beginning of your next turn. Uh... Mm. Like everything that could have been rolled. 95. <laughs> I would have preferred a unicorn. <laughs> a unicorn. That'd be helpful. It'd be nice to have a healer on the team for a minute. I don't know if you guys have been hit yet. <laughs> um, I'm going to cast... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, fine. I'm going to cast this psychic... No, I don't. I want to save that until next round. You were facing me. So I'm going to cast instead Tasha's Mind Whip on it, which is basically the same thing, but weaker. <laughs> okay. Make an intelligence saving throw. Intelligence you know, that this is actually... That is... Uh, 26! 26? Holy crap. Gosh. This is good. <sighs> and I will cast it again. Okay. That is... A 21. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, that's... You get the sense that this one... Is not like the others. And it's much more intelligent. <coughs> You're attacking the same one I'm paralyzed? Yes, I'm trying to kill it. So as you guys are flying up above the ship, you get a good glance at it, and it's like... <laughs> and... Only one thing hits. Only one thing hits. That's okay. Okay, that's your turn. Um, These guys, let's see how perceptive they are. Uh, they're actually pretty perceptive. So, they notice that the ship stops turning towards them. So they're going to maneuver this way. Out of the range, since the ship can no longer turn. Okay, that is their turn. A few more arrows. <laughs> Doing nothing. Okay, their turn. Well, everything is out of range. This is this is this is gonna be the strategy. We just keep paralyzing. Oh wait, um, I do have hold creature and hold monster. Okay, so they are going to hold monster would be better. Just hold their actions. <laughs> hold because their actions. I guess. That is literally all they can do. Can I scream at the gif? Do what? <laughs> at the gif? Sure, what are you gonna yell at them? Flank it around to the other side! <laughs> okay, he, he's just like, okay. <laughs> you heard him, bring it around. <clears throat> Woo, I have authority. <laughs> um, they see that their shots aren't doing much, and you guys have like, Paralyze the ship and one of the guns, so they're like, maybe they know what they're talking about. Okay, that is your turn. Okay, Ammon, you are right above this ship. Can we throw him into the ship? Um, you don't see any entrances. Entrances from this <sighs> angle. Does anyone have a teleport spell? No. Crap! I am um, all coming. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually. Oh, oh no! One of us does have a teleport spell. <laughs> just a second. <laughs> it would have to be dimension door. Our cleric just. <laughs> and it would be a shot in the dark, and very likely to end up dead. No, better teleportation circle. Oh no, that doesn't. One minute to cast. One minute. Yeah. She's Sorry. been preparing it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not. And you have to know uh, the sigil that you're going to. 
Yeah. Yes. You do not it know any sigils out. inside of this city. <laughs> inside of this ship. How far away Ooh. from the from the guy are we? You guys are like right above the ship. Um so the glass So it comes down to the back of the sh uh, the asteroid, so it comes out a good 10, 15 feet past like the main body of the star like shape. Um, and that at the end is where the glass is. Okay, so we're how far away from the person inside the glass? I'd say you're probably, what, five, ten feet above the ship itself. Um, and then another five feet below that would be where the glass starts. Can he break the glass? Depends on how much damage he can do. It is part of the ship. <laughs> Hexblade Paladin, right? Yes. I'm somewhat confident in his ability. I, to do I am damage. confident he could do it too if he gets up close. You'd have to land on the ship. He can fly. And smack that glass as hard as you can with the Divine Smite. If you want to okay. break it. What are you going to do, uh, Joy? What a joy to have you, Joy. Yeah. So, you jump off the ship and head to the glass. I have two attacks, plus I'm still hasted, so that makes it four attacks. Three. Three. Sorry, three. haste only adds one extra attack. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, that's still three attacks. Yes, that is three attacks. So, roll your attacks. But I need to, do I... One second, let me check. Do you have... I have Searing Smite. I would add smite. one of those smites to it as well, because... And Branding smite. That would be good. So branding add, smite is pretty good. Add branding smite. So if it hits six, blind whoever's inside the glass. Oh, is that what that does? Pretty branding. sure brand. Is visible, invisible, target chance, light. It, if you hit a creature. Visible. Oh, no, yeah. they do the. Uh, well, that one does. Smite. It's. Uh, do they do the same damage? Is it. Oh, one D6. Yeah, do the other one. You're gonna want to do extra damage. You need to get over the damage threshold. But it's not a creature, though. It's okay. It doesn't need to be... When you hit it's a creature... Your next attack. Oh, when you hit a creature with your weapon attack before the spell ends. That one is a creature. Melee weapon attack. This one is a, just a melee weapon attack, but ships are immune to psychic damage. So you can't use that. Do they have Thundering Smite? No. Searing Smite is Fire hit a creature damage. again. Is Smite hit a creature? Divine Smite? Divine Smite, Divine Smite is Smite. whenever you You're make hit. a melee attack. No, that's not it. So, so if magic. I did Divine Smite at second level, that'd be 2d8. Magic weapons at bone section? Yes. That's really Magic weapon is amazing. Um, honestly, I think your best bet here is literally just gonna be <laughs> jump down there using a second do, level um, divine smite. Compelled to. <laughs> You're gonna have to be. You'd have to be able to see him. Yeah. See. So, yes, you can jump down there and uh, <clears throat> make your three attacks and divine smite the crap out of it. How close are these glass hubs to each other? Like, from thing to thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, at an angle, probably like 45 feet from top to side, top to side, from side to bottom, side to bottom. Dang bottom it. Bottom to bottom. Okay, well, three attacks? Yeah. Yep. And they don't stack. No, no. That's annoying. Hold on. So well, plus that's nine. definitely going to be a miss. 13. But that's a um, uh, 22. Is it plus um, nine? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's my charisma modifier. So the first one you rolled, that was a six. So f how close is 15 to hitting? It's pretty close. I am going to use Ben Luck. Another two sorcery points. Hopefully I roll well. Another two to your attack. That hits it. Okay. And a 17. 
for the third one. Just hits it. 17 well, plus, plus nine. nine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Never mind. It hits it by amazingness. Okay. Okay. So all three hit. So roll so, them separately. Are you going to divine smite? Yes. On all of them, or just one of them? Can I divine smite on yeah, all of them? Every hit you can add. You can spend a spell, spell slot, slot for a smite. I try a second level divine smite first, just to see if you can break the damage there. I'm pretty sure that's 3d8. Yeah, 3d8. Then. Yeah. Plus your morning star damage, which is another d8, so 4d8. No. No, it's 2d8 for divine smite, and then for a first level. If you do it at second level, uh, you add another. Every d8. Set level higher adds another d8 onto it. Five d8. And once you level up, you just get a additional one d8. Yeah. So, 48 for this first attack. Let's see what it does. Oh, jeez. Bring it out. Five. Plus. Okay, so that is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That will go over the threshold. So, you take a swing. <clears throat> And a small crack starts going over it. It is a thick piece of glass, but that radiant damage definitely <coughs> made a dent. You gonna just keep going second level still? Sure will. How many do you have? Two? I have... As a ten? Eight yeah. little paladin? Uh, yeah, eight. He has three. 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 So, wait, that's sorcerer. No, no, no he, three. he still has three. Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. Three. So, three. Oh, that's Seven, even better. Six, five. So that's 11, 18, 19. 24. 24 damage there. Okay. So you take another swing. <clears throat> okay, what was the first one? 19 damage? Yep. Then this and then 24. That is a shit, okay. 19 damage. Um, this is. This is wailing away at this thing's health. <laughs> and then 24. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. When in doubt, send joy. Okay. Are you doing one more? Yes. It is like on the cusp of breaking. Boom. Boom. Oh, yes. Yay. Oh, jeez. Ten. That's 24 already. Wait, 16. That's 16, 16. 22, 23. Is that a 1? That's 2. That's 2. So 24. 24, 29. 29. Damn. Every attack got more, more. stronger. Um, <laughs> it just re- He's just getting Wait, I just re- to destroy Every attack him. ramped up by 5. We had 19, then 24, then 29. Oh, dang, that's really cool. <laughs> so, you take another swing. This adrenaline pumping through your veins. Holy light just gleaming off your morning star as you just... <laughs> the glass. And a good, like, ten-foot um, area just shatters in. Now, <clears throat> inside you see a hideous monster. On its head, you can see multiple eyes blinking, and then one large eye just staring at you. It's three fingers with long claws, long slender body with a long tail. Is this the one in the top? This is the one in the top. Perfect. It is now open. Gift's turn. What languages do you know? I can speak common, draconic, elvish, and dwarvish. <laughs> Compelled language. Common, elven, dwarvish, draconic, deep speech. Okay, what do you know? How close to am I? What languages do you know? Um, he knows common and infernal from yeah. a... <clears throat> yeah, it's probably about it. And f- yeah. Yeah. Tiefling. <clears throat> okay. Oh, did you, you hear muttering? Down? What? Tieflings have in, have innate magic. Do you have those? No, I don't have those, yeah. Um, I think you he would have... have uh, you think you'll have, like, burning hands at level one for free and darkness for free. Isn't his different because he has the winged variant? Mm. I have no idea. It might be different. Where is the winged variant? I think it's in Unearthed Arcana. No. We have it in one of our books. 
It's in the races of whatever. I'm just going to look it up and get back to y'all yeah. on that. That's fine. Um, yes. You mostly get gerbil in your head and frustration and a tinge of fear that you just broke into his starship. <laughs> I'm going to use compelled duel as a bonus You've action. A- Oh, it is a bonus action. It is a bonus action. Oh, crap. Okay. Face me! Wisdom saving throw? Yes. And, oh, do I have to? No. He does. Really? Versus really what? Point. Natural one. It doesn't oh, matter. Oh, yeah, he's <laughs> just... Versus your 17. He <laughs> sees himself in a large board. <laughs> you what see him get... Duel, duel do again. Forces him to attack you. Focus on you. Because this actually may work quite well in our favor. <laughs> no, that's oh, man. man. I was like, wait a minute, I'm this like, isn't the right spell. This isn't quite there we nice. go. Sand creature is drawn to you, compelled by the, your divine <laughs> demand. For the duration, it has disadvantage on attack rolls against creatures other than you, and must make wisdom saving throws each time it attempts to move to a space that is more than 30 feet away from you. Oh, so you should leave the ship now. Yeah. And it can't make an opportunity attack because it's paralyzed. So, uh... It, then it's, it's, it's like ten feet back, so it, oh, it, that it is true. can't yeah. even reach him anyway. So, yeah, so if I should... come outside the ship, it's compelled to follow me. Yes. Okay. To try and so fight you. I'm going to do that. And I can fly, so I can be like... Oh, you can't leave more than 30 feet away from it, though. Right. I can't, but if it tries to leave more than 30 feet, then I just follow it. And... Ah, yeah. Winged replaces Infernal Legacy, so you don't get innate spells. That's Dang funny. it. Okay. That's your turn. Very, very impressive. Wait a second. Yeah. You're the one that stunned him. Yes. I've walked outside, outside the ship, like on the platform, just like. Okay, so it is the gift. Come to me, boy. <clears throat> and is this the captain? Um, Whoever's it piloting looks like the thing. Um, you see a very interesting chair that he's sitting in, similar to kind of like your guys's, but it's very stone-like. The sh- and he's got like this kind of bubble. Of shimmering energy around him. The ship is captainless right now. <laughs> um. Okay. So now is the gift's turn. They just watch this little tiefling fly down and just shatter a window. So they're gonna come over here. They're gonna take a couple shots from those uh cannons on that side. Okay. What is this? What did I tell you? The truck. Fifteen. Um. So the cannons go off and just glance off of the uh, ship. Tink, tink, tink. Um, their ship. But they are going to take some shots at uh, the guy in the. The, the guy helm. in the chair. The guy if in the they chair. take attacks, sir. that Kay. ends the duel, doesn't it? If they deal damage, yes. Wait, no. Uh, if the creature from the damage. It, yep, but that's they don't know that, so <laughs> we'll see if they even hit. It's really impressive. I'm rolling the same number on both dice. Okay, Captain Bales. Okay, that's one hit. Ow. Well, that ends my end. That's a fail, and then the uh, ballista. I cannot roll worth crap for that. So <laughs> one I think hit. I said one hit. <laughs> yeah. Which is unfortunate. Okay, so you can... Would these creatures be considered humanoid? Um, no. All of those. They are aliens. Aliens. They are aberrations. Um, so... I mean, he actually did damage to it. Impressive. Six. Kind of sucks. Damage. (laughs) I just turned to him. Oh, wait a second. That one's mine. (laughs) Oh. What did that? 
But he's not. <laughs> but he is. I'm afraid that there's a nice combo coming up. Oh, okay. <laughs> if it works, he's going to suffer a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, that is their turn. But if he lives through the combo, you will be able to wail at him a lot, and he will a die. A long time. <laughs> Quick word of warning, y'all will lose your hastes. Will we? Oh, when? that's gonna drop my... You guys will all be stunned for a round. Ooh, when is bad. this? Oh, Ooh. that's right. When the spell ends, the target can't move or take actions until after its next turn as a wave of... I forgot oh, haste does that, so I can't hold person. I can't hold monster on this thing, otherwise... It... You can hold monster. Yeah, but you both have haste cast on you, so when the spell ends, even prematurely, you're effectively incapacitated oh, your for a whole round. Oh, haste requires concentration. concentration. It works best if haste's downfall is somewhat manageable if I'm after all of you, but I'm before all of you. Hmm. No, wait. No, I thought I brought wrong. It there. doesn't matter. Anyway, so Either if way, I take bad. off haste, this whole, this whole round, you two can't do anything. Yeah. Mm. So we're going to stick with haste for now. No. Okay. Yeah. So, should we wait, Should I wail on it a little? Yeah, yeah, if you could stop it from moving, that would be great. I actually can. Now it is your turn. Okay. So are you going to move the ship where you can see him? Yeah. We'll just... No, I don't have to, actually. I have a broom of flying. We'll, just, we'll turn the ship so that we can <laughs> uh, at least get a nice view. Okay. But staying close enough down. Well, you'll have to get, like, in front. He is ten feet... Oh, back? ...back from the edge of the star. And so you will have to, like, literally fly right in front of it in order to see him. You'll still be out of range of the guns since they can't move a lot. Yeah, we'll just Rap. move right. We'll, we'll do that. Just to be okay. so that we can all see. So, you fly back and just... You all get the same ugly sight of the just sunken head. Is there any way I can fand fandangle a cone, a cone spell without hitting him at all? He is like back, like and you will have to be shoot like down at an angle anyway. Right outside of it, probably ten feet. Okay, so I'm going to use a bonus action to expend a. Third level spell slot to give me back five sorcery points. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. You're gonna need it. <laughs> and then I'm going to cast Rhyme's Binding Ice. I don't know okay. that spell. From what does it do? So a burst of cold energy. Each creature within the 30 foot cone, so it should just be the creature, yep. make a constitution save. Con save, okay. On a fail, it takes 3d8 cold. And. Is it a 30 foot cone? 30 foot cone. And if it fails to save, its speed is reduced to zero. That is a 28. I can't do jack against that. He is going to spend a reaction to use psionic repulsion. All of you, within a 30-foot cone, make constitution saving throws. I am going to use my Tides of Chaos to give me advantage. As it shoots at him, and he just, and it just reverses. Constitution saving throws? And smacks you guys instead. Yes, con saves. It's weird, but sorcerers have, have uh, save, have, uh, proficiency with concentration. It's for concentration. With concentration. For concentration. It's for concentration. So anyways, that's 25. Okay, you succeed. That's 22. Okay, you guys take half damage. How close are they to me? You'll be hit. Oh, and at any time now till my next turn, you can have me roll on the wild magic surge. Oh, we're not within your aura, probably. No. Okay, so roll right. damage. And that's you and allies within ten feet. How much damage do we take? You get a charisma how mod. How much does the spell do? Well, well on saves. Since you he can, failed, you, you get half so damage, your... I guess. But he doesn't take anything. So the entire so spell is just shot back at you guys. Eighteen. Eighteen damage. Okay, so you guys take 18 damage. Does that, that mean... Half? That's not half, that's the whole damage. Oh, so, so take nine. you guys take nine. 
Nine damage. So you have to make so a my save con, con save is a plus five, and then I get an additional okay, so plus five for three, my charisma. Yes. yes. So ten. Or you keep concentration. That was. That's it's ten. That depends. That was two. Did you? Ha- are you having me roll for wild Eight. magic surge on sure. Pyro Chaos? Okay. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Okay, I take nine damage. I take nine damage. Yes. Okay. But thank you. We get a unicorn. (laughs) (laughs) That would be interesting. (laughs) So because I got it back, I can I can give myself advantage on it again because it doesn't take an action; it just recharges every time I roll. So now I save. But now, eleven. Let's see what happens. I just grew four inches. Oh. Not <laughs> interesting. You are now, I'm so now you six see foot the, one. The ice hit him, and he's just like <laughs> grows four inches taller. Odd. I okay. forgot that could happen. I I specifically kept my age not typed out because I knew some of these effects could change my age, but I forgot it could change my height too. <laughs> Are you permanently six foot? Yes, one? I am permanently six foot one. Unless another Wait. wild magic surge shrinks in. I rolled a four, so it's odd or even. No, yeah, even I grow. <laughs> so my height can change. Oh joy. Interesting. Okay, that brings it to uh, a joke around. Let me make sure I'm <sighs> this right. Uh, let Yep. The only problem is I can't control, so if you ever want to deny me advantage, you can just say, no, you don't roll on the wild search table. <laughs> um, well, my plan went to poop, so... <laughs> lightning bolt to the face. Okay. Take 30 seconds now. Yep. <laughs> Rolls good on all the other saves. That's a oh, whopping four. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and he already used his reaction. Uh, yes, he did. On a spell that didn't do much damage. No, I thought that one did way more damage. <laughs> oh, that sucked. It's okay. only a level two spell. I've never read it, so. Uh... I mean, they just asked me to keep it from moving, so I tried to keep it from moving. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wasn't going anywhere. It's in the chair. Good to know. 36 damage. Dang. 36 damage. Okay. Um, you hear in your mind in deep speech. Which isn't so much a language as it is mostly guttural noises. But you get the sense of uh, the interpretation being close to how dare you interfere with my mission. Get the frick off my planet! (laughs) (laughs) Okay, that is your turn. Well, you have another action. Yes, I do. You're welcome, whatever you want to do with it. (laughs) Um, Do I go all in? I should say so. Then all we have to do is kill the other gunners, and now we have a new ship. Fine, another (laughs) lightning bolt, this time level fourth level. Deck saving throw. I really should have saved that reaction. That is a whopping six. Yes! <laughs> I did for a second consider the psychic glance, but uh, I'm really liking how bad he is at deck saving throws. <laughs> <laughs> That's eight, nine, yep. That's ten. That's a lot of fours. Ten. That's twenty. Thirty-seven damage. Another thirty-seven. Math. 
I think that's 73 damage in total with both attacks. Uh, no. It's supposed to be a 5 at the end. What was it? 37. 37? Yeah, your math is off. I'll accept that. <laughs> it is way more than that. <coughs> okay. Now it is these guys' turn. They see an opportunity and they are going to one, two, three, four, five, eight, yeah. Make a couple shots at disadvantage from running away. Yeah, that misses. It doesn't matter. It, oh, I did roll worse. <laughs> yeah, nothing. So, you see multiple shots, like, trying to arc up into the, uh, the hole you guys have made, but no purchase. Okay, that is their turn. Oh, <clears throat> they're going to take two shots from uh, those gunners over there, who've just been sitting there waiting for something to fly in front of them. What are you waiting for? Um, I don't know. Yes. Well, yeah, you watch as two of their guys that have been hit previously just drop. <laughs> and they're like, oh crap, and they start turning again. And okay, that brings it to, oh, their turn. Okay. Oh, goodness. Leg, hello there. Okay, so he is going to... Dang. That really hurt. Don't hurt yourself, please. Yeah. You. Okay, he's going to... 20 foot radius. Envelop... The whole front of your ship, where you guys are standing, and you as well. What I'm not of, in my ship. What I'm damage ship. type is it? Just damage type, psychic. Done. Okay. I'm in his ship. Huh? I'm yes. in his ship. Well, you flew outside of his ship, or else you would have been hit by his cone to start with. <clears throat> oh, so mm, make intelligent saving throws. <gasps> As static starts pooling out, um, you notice that he didn't like cast the spell. Lucky tonight. Oh, what did you get? Sixteen. Twenty-seven. Okay, okay, okay. Let's <laughs> both succeed. Um. Oh I, yeah, you have your sixteen. Bonus. Dang it, you all succeed, so you take that. I succeeded with a five. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's paladin crap right there. It's <laughs> like, and no. I'm going to need six more D6. Got Russell's it. got them. <laughs> Do you have any ID pro for my chance? Um, Whoa! That is a lot of fours, man. <laughs> Are you trying to get us killed? Maybe. Yes. He's uh, tired of my crap. He wants me to make a new character. Okay, <laughs> you all take 15 damage. Okay. As the cloud continues to just sit there. He is concentrating. So, roll concentration check. S succeed. We're fine. Yeah. Yes, he is keeping the uh, synaptic static in that area. Okay, that is his turn. He's going to angle the ship back. Doesn't that take his action to turn the ship? It's movement. Oh, is it? Okay. I wasn't sure if it required actions on the spell ground. Alright, crap. Maybe I should have just continued with... I'll double check. We'll continue with psychic. I dancing. believe it is just the movement. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, tips back, and you see all of the cannons just start firing at... Um, the gif and then at your ship but it just bounces off of your ship because it can't roll high enough oh wait there 
actually not going to use those. They're going to use... Our purple beamy friends? Their purple uh, beams. Uh, that will definitely hit for the 20 and a 21. Are the and purple beams piercing damage? No. Thank goodness. <clears throat> they are force damage. And it's aimed at your ship. Oh, okay. So, it tips back. You see the cannons kind of retreat a little bit, and then beams just... <laughs> and three of them hit your ship. One does... <laughs> 15 damage. So it barely hits the threshold. Is it equal to or above? You want to look that up? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Could you give me the Dungeon Master's Guide? I can find it. Oh, no, wait a minute. That was two sevens. That's 14 plus something. I oh, never mind. I That's 19 damage. I thought our threshold was 20. No. Or did you lower that? Because of So I looked at all the other ships. Yeah. They're all 15. Okay. All of them. So... So, that was 19 damage. 19 damage. Okay. From one shot. Oh. The next shot doesn't even get close to the threshold. And the last shot does... 14. Okay. So, one beam hits your ship and puts a good dent in the bottom um, where you didn't quite heal it all the way. Well, mend it. And that is their turn. For future reference, it is equal to or greater. Equal to? Mm -hmm. Okay, good to know. Good to know, okay. That is their turn. Okay, you're up. Um, uh, Joy. Joy, you joyful little creature, you. Kill it. It has spun backwards quite a bit, but easy enough with your 80 feet of movement. So, yeah, I'm going to get, get in there and smite and the living daylights out of that bonus action. fishy thing. I'm going to use... Um, Searing Smite? Yeah, Searing Smite. Why not? Plus, that's a plus D6. 2D6. Nope. No, no, I meant... Just one. Sorry. Oh, yeah, that's right. You only have first level spell self So, yeah, Searing Smite. So, that's a D8 plus a D6 plus 5. No, no, you gotta you got to roll your attacks first. Uh, I mean, it's a plus nine. We can just assume. Can it I still see joy? Um, yeah. I see the joy! Five plus nine. Fourteen. Fourteen? For this creature? Fourteen to hit? Yeah. Nope. nope. I'm going to use Ben Luck. You gain four to that attack. That does hit. 18. Yep. And then a 6 plus 9. 16 plus 9. Yeah. And 18 plus 9. <laughs> yep. Okay, so only the first one gets the Searing Smite. Okay. Are you adding your... Are you going to Divine Smite as well? Oh, I can Divine Smite, huh? Yeah, I would add... So Divine Smite takes a six uh, two. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. So that's 16 plus 16 plus 5, so 21. Yeah. 21 plus. Oh, no, no, that is not concentration. So that is a single yes. one and done. Okay, good to know. So that's 21, and I don't get the plus 6 to the next ones, but I can still do a. 21 damage to the first shot? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So 21. Holy cow. Sweet Almost mother. max damage. 20, 20, 20. 23. 23 damage. 28, sorry. 28. Hmm. Have we bashed it? doesn't its skull have in. its reaction, so. You take its, your last, the, the second swing, and you just cream it right in the eye with There's your nothing star. Left. I still have one more attack. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Adrenaline still pumping through your veins. You see else? the shield around the, not shield, but the psionic waves coming out of him. Just, and you feel the ship start to 
Oh, Fall. Um, crap. Can we save this thing? I want it. We don't have time to attune to that spell jammer. <clears throat> but it is just slowly plummeting. How slow? Um. Do we think it can survive the fall? We're, you guys are several miles up. So it'll take probably a minute to get to the ground. So is it just slowly levitating to the ground or free falling? It is free falling. It is now an asteroid falling straight down. Is there anything beneath us we should be worried? Wait, it, will it hit the dragons? Dragons? <laughs> um, dragons? No. So, hit the city? The, so the city was right here. The dragons were just waiting in the forest on mm -hmm. the outside. Um... And then um, you guys came out a couple miles to face this thing. Mm -hmm. um, you look down. <laughs> there is a small village sitting there. Oh, <laughs> fudge. It wasn't a very high percentage that there would be, but... Uh, 5% chance! <laughs> oh, oh, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. There's no way we can catch that. Because <laughs> doesn't it take like a full hour still to attune to that thing? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Is there any way we can push it off course though? Just ram it. Um, this thing is way bigger than your ship. Way bigger. You, you hear the gif over there. Yeah! <laughs> no! <laughs> As it just. Does anyone have a time ray wind spell? <laughs> or. I don't have anything that can move. Our best bet is probably to either. If we wanted to, our only okay. thing I can think of is you ramming have... it with our ships to move it to the left. You have one action left. Joy. I have one action left. Yes, it is. The ship has fallen out. Well, you're like flying there, and it is like falling, falling past you. Just watching it fall. You like hit it, and it's almost immediate. As soon as those psionic waves dissipate, it's just. You just. You hear and feel this entire asteroid just lose all the power and magic in it. There's a way. If we get our spell jammer, I believe, onto that ship, we can take control of it. Is that what it says? Uh, I don't remember where it says it, but I'm... It's in the spell, spell jammer. No, it's in... There's a section on contested spell jammer, is it? Mm. That's if two... Spell jammers are. Have you tried searching through the shit. index at the very end? Just look at the spell, spell jammer. The spell? That just creates a spell jammer. Yes, but doesn't it say you connect it to a ship? No, no, no. It creates a spell jammer helm, and the spell jammer helm can control any ship it's on. Yes. So, if we get our spell jammer on that ship while it's plummeting, we can take control of it. Um. <laughs> uh -huh. So your ship can move 70 feet. It's they falling can, way faster than that. It is falling way faster than that. You could use Cut an energy. action to dash, in a sense. Um, so if we can... So you can move 140 feet per round. But what's the falling speed? Like 500 feet around or something yeah, like that? Yeah, there's no way we can catch it. Um, come on, come on, come on. Crap. All we How need to do you move the spell jammer. <laughs> I don't know. So, what are you doing? I think you can just grab it and move it. Um, is it is it carryable? The spell jammer? Yeah. Uh. It's like a floating chair. Yeah, much. technically. 
So, I mean, technically, if we got it off our ship and dumped it over the side, it would reach, it would fall just the same speed, but it wouldn't catch up. How fast is it falling? It's 500, 500 feet around. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's no way we can catch it. I mean... Let's see, you're hasted, so you have 80 feet of movement. I can cast Expeditious Retreat on myself. And his action can be used to dash, which doubles your current movement speed. So, you'd have... Uh, well, each yeah, each time, he cast, each time he used an action to dash, he would have 80 feet plus his movement uh, added to his movement speed. So, if he casts Expeditious Retreat, that would be... A bonus action, 80. A bonus action, 80. Two actions of 80. So, that's so it's 80. Well, no, only one 60. action of 80, because he only has one action left. Oh, yeah. So on the first one, so that would be 240. No, he still can't catch it. You're still going half speed. Mm -hmm. Two dashes. Granted, you could also just fall, but that doesn't help us capture the I ship. couldn't fall and then add my haste to him. But if... If you grab the spell jammer with your action as the ship's falling, at least we could take that back with us. Just know that as soon as that spell jammer leaves your ship, your ship plummets. No, 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 no. Take their spell jammer back with him. Oh, grab their spell jammer? As it's falling away from him? <clears throat> well, you could. As it is leaving, you still have an action. Okay. Do you want the spell jammer? That's. Well, at this point, that's the only thing we can say. It's nicer than ours. <laughs> no. But it's worth a lot. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'll grab the spell jammer. We can't save the village. There's no way. <laughs> if we... Is there any way we can propel the ship while we have it free-falling? I'm out of spells. Can't we just, like, have the ship free-fall and add a thrust to it? <clears throat> so, this is a... 100 foot long, 100 foot wide, and about 30 feet thick rock made of asteroid. This thing it has the sharp points is, on it, right? It's not sharp pointed. It each end is rounded. If with the glass, we are talking thousands of tons of weight. Can I put do laying on a pan? Laying on a hen with on the guy no. I just killed. Do you have revivify? You technically could. No, don't do that. <laughs> Why? I don't, I don't really want him alive. Well, if we can keep yeah, him alive long enough for us to we move our spell jammer to take control of it. I'll punch his what are you going to do, Joy? Up to you. This is your choice. Preple would be quick because we really should be ending. Yes. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna grab the chair and watch y'all go down in flames, laughing. <laughs> yeah. So. Because I don't see the town because I'm this far yes. away from you. <laughs> you don't see the town. So. so I'm just laughing because I know you... all of my enemies on that ship are going to. <laughs> you grab the ship, uh, the the helm. <laughs> make a strength saving throw strength saving throw yes to see if you are dragged along with this or if you are able to actually pull this out of its um i can't help you area. on this one i used my reaction to help your attack earlier so eight plus five. Oh yeah because it's a saving throw so 13 yeah. to start plus 12 so 25 25 Easy enough. You grab the chair and just wrench it out. The uh, limp body is just like, Ugh, as you pull it back, and the ship just boom, starts plummeting. You see your friend come out of it with this large stone chair, <laughs> as the entire ship just slowly plummets, and you guys are just like. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, nothing we can do about it. Not worth worrying about. I'm not even looking down. I'm just 
going up towards the ship laughing. <laughs> I got a chair! Fuck <laughs> what? I got a chair. Oh, I got a chair. And guess who's gonna sit in it? <laughs> yeah, so you got it. You bring it up to um, your boat. The gif have like just taken a dive down, but they are not even gonna get close to warning the village before you guys hear this. You see this huge crater just destroy the ground. Hmm. You look down and there is a massive crater. Definitely not as big as what would have happened if a regular asteroid came into space, but it is still a gigantic asteroid the town is from gone. several miles. The town is gone. <laughs> I didn't even see it. <laughs> no. I'm just still laughing. I get up there, you guys are all sad faced. I'm like, what's wrong, guys? <laughs> we won. <laughs> Yeah, there was a town under the asteroid, apparently, that we couldn't see until after it was out of our... Until it started dropping. But at that point, there was nothing we could do about it. Just just go quiet. Was it a tourist town? (laughs) They could have all been out of the town. (laughs) No idea what the town was. 5% chance to be over a stinking town. (laughs) And we get it. (laughs) Oh, that adds some trauma. You can drop your haste now. I'll just sit here silently. <laughs> He's already stunned anyway from what you're trapped. He's just like, wow. So he drops his concentration and you guys just go limp. You feel very stinking tired. You just ran three marathons and climbed a mountain. <laughs> but it's okay, it only lasts for one run, so I'm good. <laughs> yes, it six, only lasts for six It's seconds. just a six second wave of exhaustion. <sighs> I just pat you on the shoulder. It's okay, you couldn't have done any more. And I use my lay on hands and just fully heal you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going around healing people, I could, I could use some. I'll heal you. I don't have as much. I just use 29 on you. 24. 24? So I only have... Oh, is it 29? Mm-hmm. He's, um, lay on the hands is increments. Of, oh, no, wait, no, 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 I have not three. increments. Yeah, yeah. I okay. He can a heal up. I, all I need is 10. So I heal you full then. And I still have... Quite a bit. <laughs> no, because 24, 34, so I only have 6. 8 times 5 is 40. 40? Yeah, you wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. six. So I have six. six. I just brush some lint off of myself and heal myself for six. (laughs) (laughs) Did you only take like nine damage? No, I took. took, um, You took a couple hits. A lot. Okay. But you have a lot more. Yeah. What do you guys do now that you have just (laughs) dropped this ship on a village? Uh, No idea that it was coming. Uh, Go see if there's any survivors. Not likely, but... Um, right, but there could have been people out foraging or something. Well, if you guys want to come with me, we can take the uh, express route down. <laughs> sure, why not? I'm going to grab my broom, and I'm just going to fall off the side. I will jump off the side. Just going to dive. <laughs> and we will. I will wait until we're, like, really close to the ground before I cast Featherfall. <laughs> I don't want it to run out. The you guys are like there. And then right before the ground, just... Just like land. Land gently. Too bad you couldn't cast Featherfall on the ship. Um, right. You land um, a little ways from the ship that is sunken 20 feet into the ground. Oh, is we it still... shattered or is it in one piece? Um, let's... Did the lizard thing survive? Um... Oh, yeah, I have to check How much do you want there. me to pick up, find the wreckage, wrecking damage? Ooh, there's wrecking damage? They added wreckage damage? Yes. Well, that makes sense. Because I was going to do fall damage, but then I was like, that's not even going to touch it. 
Well, a I lot think, of ships. Well, fall damage for creatures caps out at 30 feet because yeah. that's terminal exactly. velocity. Exactly. So then I guess to figure out that, we just have to figure out the terminal velocity of this asteroid thing. And that be the most possible. But it's exactly. easier with this. Um, um, well, we're going to have to ch use something more than this because this is crashing into the largest object is gargantuan, not the planet. The planet? <laughs> How much damage does it say? 16d10. So maybe if you just do 20d10 and call it good. <laughs> do you want me to, do you want to just roll a d10 on your computer? I will actually... Or you could probably just do, honestly, you could probably do 16d10 max damage and just call it 160. <laughs> You know what? That's a good idea. I was going to double it, but then I was like, yeah, that's better. Okay, so 160 damage. Yeah, it's still in one piece. Holy sweet Lit. mother of mercy. Yeah, yes. I got it. Like, there's cracks on it, but for the most part, it is still a star in the ground. So we need to check and see if there's any survivors in there. Um, you see the rubble of this town just scattered. There is bodies completely buried in um, the dirt that this tossed up. Um, but there is carnage everywhere. It wasn't a big village. Probably a couple hundred people. We're checking for survivors. Or the GIF. Um, the GIF have come all the way down and have landed and are searching for survivors. But they are just glum. Like, you can see that they want to celebrate because they just took down this ship. This gargantuan but thing. At the same time, they are just devastated that they happened to help destroy an entire village. You're checking for survivors in the ship. I'm going to fly around on my broom, checking all the glass ports, see if any of those lizard things lived. Okay. Yeah. I would suggest staying below the point of view of the glass ports so that they can't shoot you if they do live. Um, well, you like notice that the, uh, there are no cannons in there anymore. No, thank you. Everybody make friends. investigation checks. Ah, something I'm not good at. This will be the last thing we do tonight. Investigation saving throws? I mean, mm. just kidding. Just check. Uh, that's a 12. 12? I'm pretty devastated. <laughs> what are you looking for, survivors? Uh, I'm also curious about the Mont's aliens. Okay. Is what I'm more worried about. I don't want one of them to... What did you roll? Start Eleven. slaughtering the... Eleven? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, silvery barbs won't work. So, are you going into the ship, or are you just, like, looking into the glass? I just... I want to I wanna see if there's a way to get into it from the glass. Um, well, there's, there's a, a big hole in the top... Eighteen. Thing. That he cracked open. What? Eighteen. Eighteen? Right. And you're looking for survivals of the town? No. Aliens. Oh, aliens? Okay, so you guys all look into... Captain, you um, check the glass, I'll check inside the beast. The, uh, the glass. You have to dust it off quite a bit. There's a lot of dirt that when it hit, it just like kind of piled back on. But you guys clear <laughs> enough to look in there. Uh, from the outside, you don't see anything in there. Um, you can definitely see where something got jumbled around a lot. But it looks like there's no bodies in there that you can see. Captain, do we go inside? Uh, I'm going inside. I got quite a few spells left in me. We need to kill them all. No survivors. <laughs> we have to avenge this town that they dropped on. Completely. I suppose... But we should probably do that next time. Yeah, that's what I was doing. So you guys approach the the hole that was made. Um, the glass has shattered a lot more with the impact. Um, dirt has just filled the inside of this large chamber. And as you get close to go in, you will pick up next time, whenever the heck that might be. But thank you all for joining us for the second session. Uh, sorry for the bad quality. Yes. Uh, um, there's a lot of frames dropped. Honestly, I'm surprised we didn't lose their life. We have to just upload the actual recording because that doesn't have anything to do with the frames dropped. No.
But thank you for joining us. And uh, check out all the links in the description. And we will see you next time. Goodbye. See ya. Adios.